G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Happy New Year. I can't believe it's the 9th of January already. Christmas has been, New Year's has gone, uh, and we're, you know, well into the first half of January. And nothing very much has happened on the channel since, uh, you know, last year. I've got a couple of battle reports in the editing process at the moment, but I've been super consumed after we got back from our holiday break with uh, my other hobby, and that's moving things around. Uh, the hobby room here, the games room, has changed once again. Uh, I'm finally doing my ultimate setup. Uh, it, once and for all, hopefully, and just getting it all done. So let's have a quick look around and, uh, you know, I'll point out a couple of things that I've done and a few things that still need to be done. And then we'll talk about what's coming up for the channel this year. So let's go have a look. It's my dog barking about something. I dropped this painting just before New Year's or just before Christmas and smashed all the glass out of it. So I've got to redo that anyway. So here we go. Here's my hobby room. Oh, um, anyone who's been here before will know that this room is always a terrible mess. And you've probably seen in the background of my videos how much of a mess it becomes. Anyway, so my desk used to be over there. There was a pile of rubbish. That shelf was there. I've put new cabinets in. Uh, I've uh, taken off the glass panels off of my cabinets here, the glass doors, because I don't like them. They make things dark. And whenever they're open, I always forget to close them and I walk into them. So I've taken those off. I've taken the gold strips off. I've removed all the boxes of crap that were on top of everything up here. And, you know, I'll slowly start setting up a few more bits and pieces. Um, I need to paint this giant. That's from uh, Heresy, I think. Awesome giant needs to be painted and their dragon need to paint that. But I want to set up along the top of everything, a whole bunch of models and whatnot for, you know, a little bit of decoration. I was going to put some curtains along all of this stuff so I could hide everything behind there, but I think it's really going to shrink the room down. The other major change is uh, I've put a nice big, huge, long workbench in here and a whole bunch of drawers set up my painting station over here. Again, that used to be over there somewhere. I can't quite remember now. Yeah, in that corner over there. Oh no, and I, I used to have my paints in this little hutch over here. Anyway, it really wasn't very good. Anyway, so I've put in a, a whole bunch of bench space here. I've put my painting station here. This cabinet, this cupboard will go and I'll put in another one here into which I'll build a replacement for my airbrush booth. So when I'm sitting here doing my painting, you know, on this left hand side here will be, hello dog, yes, I know you're barking about something, you probably need water, uh, will be my airbrush set up in here inside a cupboard so I can close it away because I don't frankly do a lot of airbrushing outside of base coating, xenophil highlights and all that sort of stuff. And I'm unlikely to do any further advanced airbrushing so that can all live in a cabinet over there. And then, uh, you know, I'll put a hole in the wall and vent out uh, into my neighbor's front door. Um, uh, you know, I've put up some of my posters up here on the wall. These ones are just hanging, you know, you can see they're leaning up against there. Anyway, so I'm quite happy. Got my gaming table here that will get replaced. This couch will be taken out of here and replaced. And in here, I will build uh, an eight foot by four foot table again with a whole bunch of drawers and stuff inside it so that I've got more storage and a great big gaming table uh, surface to put all my stuff on. Above my uh, work desk here, I will build uh, overhead cabinets all the way along here. And again, a little bit of space on the top. I might put an LED light behind that, an LED strip light to you know bounce up onto the roof and stuff, but there'll be overhead cabinets all up along here for again, for extra storage. And I might put a couple of shelves in there to put some of my collectible pieces and all that sort of stuff. Some, uh, you know, yeah, shelves. Um, anyway, so uh, it's almost there. You know, we, we, we're getting there. I need one more cabinet. I need to buy and install the overheads. And um, I think, ah, oh. and then this set of cabinets over here, I'm gonna repaint all of this uh, so that my room here, much like my entire house um, is white. So there we go, got a few more things that I need to sort out. My lighting rig that I installed towards the end of last year doesn't work anymore because I've moved things around and covered up some PowerPoints. I need to get my friend Roman 
from Rom Tech Electrical. If you're here in Melbourne, I'll leave a link to his uh, website and his Facebook page. He does all of my work. He's been a long time fr friend of my wife's. Um, or his wife has, and he does all my electrical work. So I need to get him in here to put in some more PowerPoints and move a few things around, but we're getting there. I'm, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly. Actually, it's been quite rapid, actually, since the beginning of this year. I've been to Ikea three times, I think, um, and Bunnings four. Um, for bits and pieces, I'm going to smash this out in the next couple of weeks, and it will all be done, and then I shouldn't have to worry about it again until later in the year when I decide to move things around. My daughter was in here the other day. She was having a look. She's like, wow, dad, looks so good in here. And she's like, why are you moving everything, dad? You do, you move things every year. And uh, I said, yeah, it's one of my hobbies, you know, moving things around. But, I, you know, I'm looking forward to having things finished. So there we go. Quick little update on my gaming room here at home. I want to do my studio next. That's a mammoth's job, you know, 300 square meters of chaos. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go, but, um, you know, I've got a lot to talk about this year. I'm going to be super active, whether I'm here on Rubbish In, Rubbish Out or on my Knights of Dice channel or a blend of both. I've no idea. I think I'll do a separate video about that because I'm mildly conflicted. Actually, I'm not mildly conflicted. I'm massively conflicted between Rubbish In, Rubbish Out, my Knights of Dice channel, my hobby and personal life and my professional working life you know they're all in super intermixed that's a video for another time i hope you're all keeping well uh happy new year good luck in 2021 cheers gin and tonic today no beer i hope everything that you want to have happen happens and uh, you know we can you know all slowly start to move forward it will take time from the chaos of 2020 cheers take care thanks for tuning in ciao